Alrighty then, stay in two corners and welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech as we get into the campaigns of Copper Tops Cannoneers. Hello there, Talik. Welcome to the stream. Alright, so we are a million sea bills in debt and we need to get out now. Uh, unfortunately, our drop costs are rather expensive and so even 1.5 million sea bills may not actually draw us out of the hole. Hello, Kijibu. Welcome to the stream. So we're going to see how much work we can get done. Uh, luckily, this mission is going to be a little bit cheaper on drop costs, but only because we're limited to six mechs. Command this could go great, initiated. or this could go terribly, and hopefully it'll go great. And if not, uh, well then, bankruptcy is in my future. We shall see where that ends up going. Hello, Shrado Swordmaster. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could join us as we hunt down the enemy. Okay, I think we found the enemy somewhere in that little bubble over there. So, ooh, uh, yes, I'm actually very familiar. This is actually the normal drop zone for this map. As you drop right here, and then you have to, or over here, and you have to fight your way through up this hill. Uh, which can be rather nasty at times. So, do I want to hopscotch the hill or just plow right up it? Honestly, just plowing up it may still be the best option. I do have several mechs that are fairly good at close range combat, so may not be the worst thing ever to give a shot at. So we're going to start placing our people down very carefully, uh, avoiding running smack dab into the middle of the rock. And as you can see, only six mechs. Uh, my internet is weird right now, so it won't be active in chat. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Well, hopefully you will be able to at least enjoy some much. So, we are here. It's another night op. What the hell? For the... <laughs> this has been like the fourth night mission in a row. So, we are unfortunately having to operate under covert ops terms, which is starting to bug me. Because Roger I like that. my day missions, so I can actually hit the broadside of a plane. We're going to need more okay. night vision sets. <laughs> Give me more night vision for specialist equipment. That way I can actually, you know, do something about it. Right. Uh, just in time for the first mission. Yes, indeed. The first mission of the day. Sensors have activated. We've located some elementals. Uh, we are fighting Clan Novacat at the moment, and they've brought out a Mist Lynx, a Phoenix Hawk 1C, a Kit Fox, and in the back, a Stormcrow I, which may be Inferno. Not sure. And we're going to find out. Hopefully I can actually see these guys and shoot them. Oh, there's another group right over here. Oh, goodness. Bit of a pincer. I uh, got a valley, which has an arrow for artillery piece. Ice ferret, a, another little friend, a nightshade royal, which is apparently some sort of tank, and a stormcrow prime with two broken medium lasers. This all together is a fascinating little location for us to have been. Uh, Texas red is up first. We'll bring Tulik on in. He's not driving his normal red. And I'm going to see if I can't wipe out these toads before they become just a problem in my back line. The other target's a phoenix hawk, but it's a phoenix hawk, so who cares? Confirm. Missing all times? Really? Off of a 65? A 65. And you cannot do. Uh, those children were death commandos. Wait, what? Dragon's dead. I'm shot. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, just a, And you know what? I wouldn't put that black pass from Mono. Uh, yes. Obviously, quite a few death commandos probably were trained as children. That's just sort of the way that things go. Commander. Right, we'll bring in the Talos, because apparently the Talos will be able to handle this job easier. Or at least more easily. So I believe. I shall trust. Put faith in. Uh, we're not going to target lock-on. We're just going to chuck as many missiles as we possibly can into the target. We're going to run that gun up to full power and see what happens. Hopefully explosions. There were no explosions. I think I hit something special. I think you did three internal damage. Yeah, four. Wow. Out of all of those missiles, you did four damage to the internal structure. What the hell? By the way, I have a Holopolis here today. Hello, Talik. Oh, what is this? Yeah, Talik's already here. He was the first one to say hi. That was, that was garbage on so many levels. And now we're going to be suffering for it. <laughs> Texas Red, of course, utilizing its uh, bolt-on AMS. More than capable of handling a small missile salvo. Copper are you even going to be able to see the target? No. How's it going? Will the other Stormcrow be able to see the target? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to rush the other Stormcrow on in. And hope that you don't hit the Talos on your way through. Friendly fire might exactly be your thing. Got it. Let's find out. Laser rifle to on. Uh, mortars to improve for a little bit extra accuracy. And sure, let's go standard mortars. And see how much explosions we can do. I'll even throw the Warlord. And... Exploderate, please. We hit with the live laser. Another few hits that didn't really amount to a whole heck of a lot of boom yet. We have managed to shoot through basically all of his armor. 
<laughs> this little up was just dodging damage left, right, and center. Hello, I Lola, 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 Lola. Uh, I think I want to name it Mike. You can do that if you have the sea boots. Uh, what's that? How much? We don't know because I clicked on another mech, and so we only know what's going on. Oh, there it is. Let's find out just how good or bad this is. Oh, that's that's some real dangerous stuff right there. Uh, no medium improved lasers. I will throw on the warlord. And... Oh, ho, ho, so beautiful! Copper top coming in to clean things up, although that did still mean that we spent four out of our six mechs attacking a toad, which hurts me on a deep level. Although, at least the qu twin gauss rifles, which are not anti-infantry weapons whatsoever, managed to completely annihilate the target. So at least I have that going for me. Kerger, where are you? Waiting for orders. In the Rubik's Cube. Uh, can I see that valley? Because I would like to exploderate that valley before it gets a chance to do anything. The problem is I can't. Darn it. That may become a problem. Okay, dokes. No. Let's just set right here. This gives us a little bit of coverage and we can shoot both targets. Might end up shooting at that. It's only 30s. That's also even worse. I can see the nightshade from here. Just trying to shoot down aircraft. Might not be the up. Oh, I have a 17% chance on the valley. How much armor you got? Not a lot. On the sides, we're looking. Well, that's more than I thought. Alright. So you're probably going to survive the heavy incoming fire you're about to take. So I will indeed shoot at the Kid Fox and see what we can get done over here. Misses! Oh, we have some penetration. Two points of penetration. Uh, I'm bored working all the action. <laughs> I'm trying to see up one. Alright. Phoenix Hawk, moving to the side. Has a PPC, was not able to connect with the Rubik's Cube. I'm rather happy about that. Rubik's Cube, impenetrable with electronics. Uh, at some point, yeah, that storm crow will come down the mountain and it will, it will be painful. There are two storm crows and we should probably take care of them soon. Ow! Nailed us with a large laser through... No, okay, we have no actual protection. <laughs> we were just getting lucky. Vtol opening fire on the, on the Rubik's Cube, nailing it a couple of times. I am going to be very interested... Nope, it's not. At least he missed badly. Well, the Report question becomes, how badly? Oh, God. That could have been so much worse. Oh, we were quite the lucky people. All right, we're going to walk over here. We're going to target said valley. And we're going to tell him why he should probably not be slinging stones in, well, nuclear equipped houses. Target confirmed. That missed. That, however, came very close. In fact, he's on fire. Very much on fire. Uh, this is going to be ugly. Waiting for order. My counter battery is going to take a while to cause an effect. Unless I can start getting some major hits on target, it's going to be a little bit rough. Run back up here. This will give us a side angle shot on the already damaged Kid Fox, who is incredibly vulnerable. So, <laughs> I think you're probably dead, sir, but I'm not positive. Maybe we'll switch over to some tandems, have a little bit of fun. And the mortars probably don't need to be acid mode. I don't anticipate him surviving this. Copy that. Lasers hit, and yes. Oh, indeed. When you Target start spitting 30 society MRMs, all with tandem warheads, not much survives. He's always doing this. <laughs> The tank platoon. Ah, uh, yes, the tank platoon that hangs out in uh, Serpent Hole. Who else is there? Ah, you, okay. You did hit me a little bit, which is unfortunate. Hey, I can see the storm crew right there. Report that could prove to be a problem. So we've managed to burn our way through the armor and the. Oh, what's it called? The battle armor and the kit box. So, three more up here, and then we can turn around and just destroy them from above, utilizing our massive height advantage. Uh, no, it will not be called Sporktopia. No. Not even in jest. So we've got one more. That PPC unfortunately causing 60 damage to us. <laughs> the lava is really under a lot more fire than it's supposed to be designed for. Uh, so, that? Big Iron. Could Big Iron just come around and start really wiping these people out? Or are we gonna get up here? Huh. Could try and duke it out with the Stormcrow. Yeah, that might be the best solution. Heading that way. Ooh, not even bad accuracy, too. We'll throw that in there and see how much damage we can get done. Oh, ha, ha. Copper top on point today. Twin hits with them Gauss rifles. So far, that's four hits with Gauss rifles that he's fired. No, no, Quiggy. 
Uh, this point blank range damage brought to you by a Phoenix Hawk, which our Stormcrow is gonna have to deal with. I think the Rubik's Cube may actually have a good angle. Standing by. Talik. Uh, allow me to intervene Confirmed. on your behalf, sir. Oh, I may have placed my back to the enemy. Confirmed. Firing. But I did manage to nail this Phoenix Hawk with two heavy <laughs> large lasers, and that's just a fun little feeling. On to 19. We have our people back here on the move. Stormcrow Prime! Still engaging my Helopolis, lighting him on fire a little bit. I'd like to get him out of the line of fire sometime soon. And hold the Inquisition. I think the Talus is gonna help gang up on the other Stormcrow. And we will hopefully wipe him off the face of the map. Hauling AF. Temperature's getting a little bit spiky now, so we'll turn off our heavy medium. And our re-engineered medium, that's unfortunate. But we're still gonna disappear. We lean more heavily on the multi-missile system. Just basically shave all of the armor off the side of this mech. Oh, the Yasha come out for it. I also on the Holopolis. Jeez, people. I have five other mechs! Oh no, the Holopolis armor is open. God damn it. Receiving you. Alright, Rubik's Cube. I think we need to get over here and demonstrate to them that they need to start behaving. Hi. Uh, you might be a better power good. Yeah, Ice Ferret for sure. So, not the Nightshade. Hello, little Ice Ferret. I'm just going to light you all the way up. Eh, that wasn't as good as I was hoping. Yes, Commander. Alright, waited. Steal some cover, waited. It's getting a little bit toasty out here. Uh, we're basically going to ignore the people up there. I'm going to position like so. A walk instead. Got my back to the enemy a little bit, but that's because I've got to guard this leg. And we are going to target our little friend back here. Hello, little valley. Uh, enjoy. Roger. Rounds out. One miss. Oh, that looked dead on. I'm being flanked. He returns fire on Texas Red. Oof. Rough. So the valley is now exposed, and hopefully we'll be able to kill it out in the next round. Wow, they beat us with a 23. That's impressive. Ice Ferret wants the Rubik's Cube. It's like, wait a second, you did what to me? Oh, let's bring Sprog on in. So we'll bring in the Stormcrow Prime. Uh, ooh. That's a miscellaneous. I can't afford to get too close to these guys. For obvious reasons. I would like to maintain a line of sight, though. Accuracy, not so good. Uh, will that give me a minimum range shot? Not really. No, it'll be all up to the MRMs to do damage at that point. Which I think actually kind of works for me. Double time. Slip up here. Take aim. How badly damaged are you? 25. Is it worth the improves on 56? No, I don't think we can count on that. There's some acid around too, just for giggles. Large laser still on point. And quite a bit of penetration on that one, purely because of the MRM. I am a bit surprised that we didn't cause more damage than we did. To be honest, I was kind of hoping that the whole thing would go exploding. Large. Nope, nope, not a large ball slicer. So he's just got twin larges on a, on a VTOL. That's pretty interesting. So we should be able to deal with him, though. Question is, in time or not, because I'm worried about the Holopolis. Heavy large coming, or heavy medium coming in for the Rubik's Cube from over there. Still not so bad. Yeah. Uh, and the Holy is going to continue pushing as hard as they can I got right it. on top of Don't this guy. Think. Don't I would shoot. like to Just punch through those sometime soon. Yeah, I think I will light it up. Throw out a little bit of medium laser action and then just throw as many misses as you can at a target and hope for good crits. And hey, there goes the leg. Oh, arm. Scored a critical hit. My ready for orders. Kyogre is going to continue his sort of line holding actions over here. And he's just going to Copy that. hopefully break everything that he can. Oh, that ice ferret is still so juicy a target. Oh. PPC plus the auto cannons and a decent number of missiles. Reporting critical hit. But he's not dead yet. But we're working on it. Ready for orders. All right, Texas Red, come on in for the support. The temperature is, uh, in a word, toasty. Roger. Spin in like so. Probably can only fire one laser safely, which. Locking on target. Oh, does a number on the target. Already the leg is, or the arm is gone. I keep, that's Locking twice we've said that the, the leg is gone when it was in fact an arm exploding. Phoenix Hawk pulling back a little bit. 
And not being so effective. Oh, I think we knocked out his PPC. That'll be very helpful. That's uh, a lot of his big chunk damage away. Uh, All right, huh? Copperhead. It's time for you to finish him off. Hopefully. Uh, just do me the favor and turn him into Swiss cheese. And I'll be very happy. The very end of the range. Oh, it's beautiful accuracy. <laughs> oh. Crumble. Indeed, when Big Iron is on point, he is on point, baby. So that's their heaviest mech to the north taken care of. Now we just gotta deal with the people downwind of us. And we ought to be able to do so. We got a few of the lighter end mechs. Oh, and that valley. Hopefully I can get the shot in on the valley first, because if I can shoot first, then that valley's dead. Uh, I think I beat it. Oh, we beat it. We beat it. Not by much, but we beat it. Certainly. Indeed, it has been phenomenal. All right, hi. Uh, there's a decent chance that you die today. Firing. Artillery? Mm, way off. Ah, oh, too far off. No. No joy. Damn it. The scatter on that one was terrible. And now the Helopolis must take it in response. More fire. I think he managed to nail the river with that. That was dead on. Jeez. All right, Texas Red. Uh, Texas Red actually in a really nice position to kill two people. Aye, aye. Hi, I'm behind you. I have heavy weapons. And I think that I want to wipe you completely out. Roll for it. On it. Yes. Well, start of a yes. If both of them had hit, that would probably would have torn him asunder. But I will take the damage. A little bit surprised it didn't get. Oh no, that's still these people here. The ice hurt. Oh man, those clan PPCs. They hurt a lot. And we still have right Napoli. How about. Right, we'll bring in the Stormcrow. Could see if I can't finish them both off. You know what? No, we'll, we'll go for the. Yes, I'm there. We'll go for the kill, not on you, because you've only got a single large laser. Well, you have nothing at all. So, really, you are still the most dangerous threat. Unfortunately, I'm too close to you to actually do what I wanted to do. So, that's my mistake. Fire into his back, and we don't need the tandems. Just go improved. Here we go. There we go. He's gone. Wasn't that big a missile line. launcher, but still a missile launcher that we didn't yeah. want to have to deal with. Can the Talus get up the mountain enough to see the target? I don't believe so. Can I turn back around and engage another target? Uh, yes, I can. Confirmed. Air targets count. We'll go target lock on. The accuracy is bad anyway, so. Give me yeah, worth a shot. We're going to bring some people around and it'll help deal with the da problem down to the south. Nightshade falling back. It is a royal. Missing with his first laser. Wait. I thought he had a pulse laser. Am I reading that right? Or is it two larges? Or was it the other one I was looking at? How about sevens? Huh. Oh, it must be the Thunder or Pulse Laser. So. Copper Top himself uh, back huh? in the field. Oh, Copper Top could engage that Phoenix Hawk. Uh, accuracy wouldn't be tremendous. Versus down over here, where the accuracy is way. going to be great. So. And still flying. Although, by how much? Ah, spread out the damage a little bit, it looks like. Stormcrow coming in. Still wants my Helopolis. You can't have it, it's mine! I will nuke you into the ground with all my heavy weapons. Irby Skew, please, please step out of the fire. Shifting very slightly to the side. Oh, Mr. Stormcrow, you have just invited all measures of pain. Oh, I can see the valley? Oh, with my LRMs, of course. Yeah, he's down to eight health over there. If I... Yeah, let's bust out the multi-target. Just to help out a little bit. And if this works and he dies, then uh, that way I can more easily engage with the Holopolis. Did I target the... No, that is the Stormcrow Prime. It's bravo, Bravo, and fire. Excellent! Okay, first target down. And then the Stormcrow taking the hit. So now I can turn the Holopolis to engage this group of mechs. Which will make them unsteady, which is much more useful to me. And they will take heat, heat effects. Hello, Mr. 245. Welcome to the stream. Who is next? Ah, the Phoenix Hawk 1C. I'm still not done killing you, am I? And Waiting Weighted Lizard. It's adding up like so. 
Not good. Ooh, that's actually really good. Uh, for the ER largely. Buy set over to direct fire mode. Some very interesting things I can do. This ERP PC really needs to be shut up. Okay, I'm gonna go shape charge. Inferno. I'll throw in a bit of a warlord just for an extra little bit of luck. And hope for some some funness. Ooh, it landed right next to him. Unfortunately, because I had set it to shape charge, it basically has no splash radius at that point. Alright, uh, I'm gonna kill you. Actually, no, I will save that for the Stormcrow to do because you have mortars. Not only do you have mortars, you have mortars that cause support effects, and that's just super handy. Uh, I could hit the ice fair, but you know what? I want that Stormcrow to be very, very unhappy. Enjoy your acid! Could give him an acid bath, that way he can bring out the natural look of his mech. Oh, Nightshade coming up. He is unhappy with what we did. Hmm. So it does look like the Thunderer Large Pulse Laser only fires twice, rather than the traditional three times. Ready for orders. All right, Texas Red, this is all your fight at this point. Go hunt it down. Go turn it into no scrap. Just running. Got it. And good die. Target lock on rear yeah, one out of two. That'll be a nice amount of hits, although he'll probably be chasing him around for the next couple of turns anyway. Phoenix out, come back. Open fire on the Stormcrow. Ow! That was a lot more damage than I was hoping. 45 damage into my Stormcrow. My poor, poor Stormcrow. Right Holy here. Inquisition. Mm -hmm. Press you one in. You did have a turn to chill, Roger which was that. nice. Uh, could probably hit you. Definitely would hit you. Eh, do you have a multi target? No, you don't. Okay. I'm on the wrong side of the ice ferret for it to really matter. So, you know what? I will take the easiest shot on the Vasha Vitol. Ooh, missiles did not gain a lock despite an 87% chance. That is painful. Purpose you managed to avoid yet another PPC as it continues its steady charge. Something may have exploded. Big Iron will take the heights. Uh, and Big Iron will absolutely try and knock out a nice ferret. Alright, so he's managed to miss his first shot in the entire round so far. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's been putting a lot of shells down range. Holopolis again getting lit up. They just do not want to let it go. They have the best Watch chance of killing a Holopolis, to be honest. Alright. I want to sprint to get into cover. Not great cover. Understood. And I would prefer a side oh, angle, but I will definitely take it. And let it Oh, that looks like just about all of the nice big heavy weapons. Solid connection on that one. Hello, Dulceland. Welcome to the stream. Oh, no, don't hit my legs. I said don't hit my legs. Critical hit. Critical hit. All right, we're going to have to yes, Commander. tell you you're not allowed to do that anymore. Although I do need to move. If I don't move, I will probably die. Although the heat is starting to become a bit of a problem. Can I run? I can run. Actually, no, I can't. Uh, we took a crit to a... To a very vulnerable area, unfortunately. Oh, apparently I'm still in cover in this location, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn, present the left side, throw in the vigilance for a little bit extra, and since you're all getting so gosh darn close, I'm going to remove you, Mr. Crit Dealer. Really? A 0.09% chance? On a flat ground? That seems a tad ridiculous. Hmm. Yeah, I'm very concerned then. You know what? We're just gonna throw flak his way. There we go. Oh, right, because it was still on supercharged, so what are you flacking? Yeah, alright, see if you can't knock it out. Firing. Excellent. Well, decent amount. Not as excellent as I would have preferred. Nightshade still has the opportunity to do some really nasty damage if he wants to. Now he's gonna go for the Rubik's Cube. Interesting choice. I would argue a bad one, but... Damage is minor. His funeral. Right. Commander. Uh, bring over the Stormcrow Prime. Should have a fairly beautiful angle Roger from over that. here. No shooting. Just now I can't right. shoot at you unless I had night air or not night, but airburst rounds. Then I could have done something interesting to you, but unfortunately I do not, so we're just kind of stuck with what we've got. It's like the ice ferret gets to be the recipient of all of my love. Mainly because he's the one that I can see the easiest. And 
And there goes the ice hurt. And something went uh, scrolling off into the distance over there. Next destroy. We got Leek. Leek ready to finally bring the ultimate pain. Just gonna walk nice and gentle right behind him. And. Yeah, we're working on it. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Take a moment. Target eliminated. Take a moment for him to realize that he was dead. Uh, huh? We're gonna slowly walk over the hill, that way maybe people will shoot at us instead. And sure, old warlord into the stormcrow, why not? Oh, the damage! The damage just keeps rising. And over he goes. Uh I had to think of it. Yep. It was a very anime kill. Didn't even realize it. I, I could go and kill the stormcrow entirely now, which I think I will actually do. The accuracy is good. Throw on the medium improved heavy and you know what? Just make sure he explodes. That's the most important. There it goes. Ah, the MMS. Phenomenal weapon system. Ah, yes, and now of course we need to worry about the the Yasha, which will now engage the, the Talos with its point defense system. Excellent. The enemy's playing right into my hands. Reporting. Yeah, take aim and knock out what you can. Oh, I can't oh. Hey, we killed the one I'm on accident. Second so with that one. And then you. Perfect! Okay, a little bit more damage to the Holopolis than we kind of wanted. But other than that, not Report bad at all. Vehicle destroyed. It will fall to battle. That damage should be repairable, though. Hopefully on the cheap. That's the key. On the cheap. Because we are very much in debt, and if this mission does not pay out well enough, then... Well... That's not good. Oh, this should be enough, I believe. This should put us at two minutes or so. I think we've managed to survive. What was our free part? Oh, uh, we got a valley part, which I used to be holding valley parts, and then I sold the valley part because we didn't run into any. And so, of course, we ran into another valley. Uh, 140 core and a fire control system for a uh, clan. Which is not bad. Plus one gunner. There's a slightly better one that gives you plus one gunnery and uh, a couple of other effects for longer range combat. <laughs> exactly. But it's so much more fun to be riding the razor's edge of solvency. Also, the more expe the uh, authentic experience. How many mercenary companies actually manage to survive as long as well we do, and with actual any money in the coffers? The answer: not many. So really, we're just doing it the right way. Looks like the Majesty of Canopus is getting bullied a little bit by the Marians. 202,000 sea bills. Oh, God. Um, well, we did not get out of debt. <laughs> the repair cost is what killed us. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Uh, I have no interest in a mixed links. Uh, we can't keep the vision. We were not going to be doing the Plainsman. I am not building an adder. The valley, I'll think about. If I run into another one, it might be worth it. Pouncer is too light for us. Wyvern is too light for us. Wyvern. Medusa's even too light for us. And Griffins are too light for us. Alright, we have a little bit of money. Light tanks or heavy tanks? Wait, what? Uh, cobalt hover tanks are nice. Cash picks 400,000 civilization. Nice. Alright, so we will manage to survive the end of the month. Barely. But we will be there. Uh, when is the next... Oh, I think we are. We're not doing anything for Engineer, are we? Yeah, we are not. That is not good. That is very inefficient. So we're sitting at Gamma Pod, which is 1.5 million Seabills. And the High Boost, which is also 1.1 million Seabills. In order to get this, I need storage space. In order to get storage space, I need Gamma Pod. And Gamma Pod is free, so I technically do not need... High G burn drive upgrade. Also, it costs more money to field that. Then I can start working on more of the more of the stuff down here. Tank storage reduces monthly upkeep, which is yeah, not bad. This also helps. Yeah, unfortunately, we just didn't run into it in time. I mean, maybe we'll see another one sometime soon, but. Also, we had to save the company. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. Oof. It's expensive. All right, that's 1.8 million Seabills out of my budget. 
So how long do I have to wait to get my people back? Catapult is eight days. The Evan Jag is six. So this, this, and then this. Ooh, the Holopolis is in for nine days. You think it was in a battle or something? Jeez. We're going to be out of the fight for a little while, just chilling, which is very, very sad because that means we're chilling without actually building anything. I need one point something million seals, and I need it soon. Uh, what are they doing? You guys are trying to build a medieval catapult out of dried noodles and edible foam? I will supervise. Apparently, Talik managed to screw it up. Congratulations, Talik. You have screwed up the catapult. Live with your shame. Okay, finally. That only took half the month. So, uh, yeah. Quick check of the barracks, and then we'll see if we can turn that around to another quick mission. Hopefully something that, you know, is cheap and will also give me more yeah. money. A lot more money. The Inquisition can go grab the next level Training of tactics. Waiting for orders. Hager's fine. Good to Black go. Glass is fine. Commander? Standing by. Pyro's fine. Receiving Shade you. is feeling the mode. Receiving you. Druids yes, is fine. Ready for orders. Leek is also feeling the mode. Until he can have so you can have a little bit of gunner. Being able to shoot stuff more accurately always makes me happy. Just wanted to see some Macrody Castle. Alright, well you cost me five morale. It's gonna make all of you so much longer on the... on the time it takes to get you back into a fight. Oh. Charles Sableson. 315, 165. Oh, but it's against Clan Diamond Shark, and we've been trying to kind of make friends with them a little bit. I have got to do a mission, though, that is going to pay out in spades. And, oh, goodness! Hey, look, it's a mission that'll pay out in spades. I'm sorry, Clan Diamond Shark, but one, it's paying out in spades, and, well, two, it's uh, a lot of money. Three skill missions. Uh, what are we dealing with? Oh, it's a drop zone. Okay, yeah, we can do this. Yes, we're going to be sacrificing a little bit of Clan Tech now, but... 1.7. Never mind. I have repairs to do first. But that's what we're doing. We're doing Operation Inquisitive Trinket. I need the money. All the money. Hopefully, I believe you're just a just an actuator, which is a free fix. Now oh, that last mission, not the one most recently, but the the one that happened before it, where we took all this damage, ended up being a real kicker. Yeah, hip and foot. That was a nasty one. But he's still alive and Bob kicking, and so to speak. Commander. What did you break? You broke your heat sinks. Oh no. Please tell me you didn't take them all. And an entire leg. One day of repair, okay. I can live with that. On it. And then the other jag, hopefully also nothing too serious, fingers crossed. Uh, your laser AMS got crit, but again, another single day repair. Not too terrible. A little inefficient, but right. not terrible. I'll get it in the schedule. One day. That work order you submitted? All right, now let's go make some money. Let us make all of the money. We'll make it up to Clan Diamond Share, I swear. They'll never even know that it was a problem. Though, I do think this is going to take a while. Alright, Holy, what were you driving? Holy was driving the catapult. I think he was, I mean. The catapult your main ride? Hunchback to the Ebon Jag to the catapult. Was somebody else running the catapult? Because you have high Ebon Jag skills. Give you the Ebon Jag back. Uh, you were running... Stormcrow. Okay. So you're fine in this. And this should be driven by Shade. Despite his depression at the moment. Uh, Timberwolf. Like you were driving the what now? Talos, Hetzer, and Raven. Oh, Talik, are you not in this battle? That would kind of suck a little bit. 
catapult hits a rifleman. Catapult is at 18. Okay. The plate is plate is a vehicle. Only pilot. Yeah, you're a vehicle pilot. Wait a second, who's that? Yeah, spirits. There we go. Spirits was in the catapult. Blink, looks like you got a bit of an upgrade. <laughs> Apparently, we've moved you into a timber wolf, and hopefully, you will enjoy that. Hello, Libby. Uh, just throw me back into the timber wolf. <laughs> All right, let's also. Oh, we don't want to drop too much, just because it's expensive to drop too much. Uh, so let's try and keep it under five hundred thousand seals. That instantly put us over five hundred thousand seals. So I suppose that's going to be a lie. I dropped absolutely everything that I had. What am I looking at in terms of cost here? 560. Ooh. Plus damage costs. It's going to dig into my 1.7 million seabills pretty hard. I will make a small bet that I don't need those. And we'll bring Pyro along for the giggles. Rocket! All right, we're going to put a cut in here for YouTube, just for the YouTube people, I know. Don't worry, we're still going to be streaming for a while, but to my YouTube people, thank you very much for watching. I have been Derek. If you like what you've been saying, hit that like button and subscribe. Before I see a notification every single time I release one of these videos, press that little bell icon, leave a comment, and I will see you all in the next episode.